I'm going to address these situations where people are like, oh, Latinas can't wear box braids. Oh, these are only for black hairstyles. Oh, black people, cultural appropriation, da, da, da. Yeah, stuff like that. So as you can see, I took a screenshot of this TikTok where it shows this girl's TikTok and she wrote on it, Latinas can't wear braids. And I'm just like, girl, nobody said Latinas can't wear braids. She should have never wrote that because nobody said that. And I feel like she was trying to say Latinas can't wear box braids. That's what I low-key think she was trying to say. I come across a lot of these videos on my For You page. And in the comments, the comments are just like cultural appropriation. Oh, that's only black people hairstyles. Oh, da-da-da, you know, stuff like that. Stuff you would see on the comments on these type of videos. And some of, I'm sorry, I'm black and some of my black folks out there think that we black people we own braids and we don't sorry to break it to you we don't own braids latinas do have their own cultural braids i think it's mexicans they have their cultural braids and i will show it to you this is their cultural braids their tradition i didn't do my research i just know it and this is ours you know our times where our ancestors yeah stuff and it's not just these two. There are many other cultures with cultural braids. It's not just black people. And I feel like I feel like people are forgetting. They're forgetting something. And yes, if you're not black if, and you have black hairstyles on your hair, it is cultural appropriation. Like this one on the screen right now. And I feel like people are forgetting that when braiding hair it also depends on the type of hair you have i would see a lot of non-black people wearing our cultural braids and and i just feel like are you forgetting that that's not for your type of hair too if you do not have our type of hair like black people hair our hairstyles are not meant for you like there's a lot of history behind it too and it's not for your hair and let me tell you something non-black people wear these hairstyles on their hair not knowing that their hair will fall out it won't fall out on our hair because our hair is thick and to my black folks you know when you get your hair done and it's like gripped to your scalp our hair doesn't fall out and if you're a non-black person and you want to do our type of hairstyle on your head, just know that your hair will fall out. And you're worried about, oh, I look good in it. It's cute. F all these black people. Uh, I don't give a if it's culture appropriation. That Just know that your hair will fall out and it's bad for your hair. A lot of people do not know that it's also bad for your hair. A lot of non-black people do not know that it's bad for your hair. I feel like none of y'all will understand this video, but... And to my non-black folks out there, if you want to continue doing our type of hairstyle on your head, that's on you. That's on you. But anyways, bye. <laughs> I'm curly hair and use a protective hairstyle. A lot of Latin women have done this for over a year, so... My main problem here is not even the fact that she's wearing the braids, because at this stage... I know that y'all are going to do whatever the fuck you want to do and you don't care about people's history. You don't care about none of that. My problem with you is you're so freaking entitled to wearing our braids when you've disrespected the black culture multiple times. When you've disrespected our culture multiple times, that's one. You've said the N-word recently even. Wasn't it like last year that you were causing the N-word? You use that word freely and then what you, you you like to say you like to use that you have black family members when it's beneficial to you when you're getting heat that's when oh i'm afro latina i'm this I'm, babe you not you just simply not and if you were someone that actually respected people cultures you would have known that the braids you have on your head is called fulani braids and you would have known that it actually originated from west africa and you wouldn't be up there saying oh Latin women have been wearing this hairstyle for years. No, it, orig it originated in freaking West Africa. Now, the problem here is that these Latinas, they are wearing braids now. They want to emulate 
black girls, but they don't want to be black. So they feel they can take from black culture while denying their blackness at the very same time. So you don't, you don't get to take ownership of it. I'm sure in the Latin culture there's bra braiding styles that you could do, but why is it that every single time y'all want to feel y'all want to feel different? You come and you take from our culture. Like I don't understand and I don't get it. And I don't care if you come in my comment section and say, "Why are you so mad? It's only hair." The people that know their history know that it's not only hair. The people that know their history take know that it took us years for us to be able to wear our natural hairs and be proud of it. That's one. And two, we're still discriminated upon for wearing the hairstyles that we wear. It's like, y'all will come, steal from someone else's culture, give it a different name, rebrand it, and then call it a day. That's not how it's supposed to work. I don't mind cultural appropriation. Um, not appropriation. Appreciation. When you're trying to appreciate someone's culture, you understand the history, the background, where it started, how it started, who even created it. But you never do any of that. So that's my problem. I don't think people that have said the N-word, people that that are always being problematic towards my culture, get to wear my hair, our hairstyles. It's a hairstyle and I have curly hair. It's the fact that you guys didn't even try to be respectful. If you would have come on here and at least the the bare minimum is you coming on here in braids and explaining that you understand the cultural significance to black people and you've educated yourself on the history. But no, you want to appropriate a hairstyle that you can't even respect and take the time to learn about. About it's just hair. It's clearly not just hair to us. And the worst thing is you're not even making sense. My hair's curly. Okay, your hair's not coarse. Your hair's not thick enough. In order for box braids to actually protect your hair, all it's doing is damaging your hair. And all of you in the comments talking about, oh, she's Latina as part of her culture. Those are your culture's braids. So if you guys are going to wear our cultural styles, at least give credit. And I think you guys are forgetting that Malu is in a place above Afro-Latinas in Latin America. Okay, I wasn't going to give this the time of day since you're clearly a child. However, since you are a child, let me educate you on something. I am not Caucasian. I am Puerto Rican and I am black. But you're only black when you get caught doing something wrong. When you get called out for being racist. That's the only time you claim your blackness. Oh, I'm black too. I'm this. No, no, you're not. Okay? You don't even like black people. Your whole culture is anti-black. I am not stealing black culture because I have rainbow box braids, which I've since taken out. Okay? Do yourself a favor. Open up a history book and find out what makes Puerto Ricans. Because we descend from Africa, brought over on ships by Spaniards as slaves. Yeah. Didn't know that, did you? So, go by. That's where you're wrong, beloved. It is not just hair, not for black women. Because since the beginning of time, our hair has always been a problem in the Caucasians' eyes because it is different. We just got a law passed. It's called the Crown Act. You probably don't know shit about it because it ain't got nothing to do with you. But we just had to get a law passed so that we could wear our hair the way it grows naturally from our scalp and still be accepted in workplaces. You understand what I'm saying? So no, 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 it's not just hair. Because if it was just hair, there would be no law that needed to be passed for black people to wear their hair. Can you understand what I'm saying? Yes, every culture has braids, but our culture is the only one that's getting disrespected. See, the braids that she has in her head came from black women. She got them done by a black woman, and she decided to disrespect black women and mock black women. That is something that you don't get to do. And then expect black women to sit around and watch that shit and not check your ass when you're being disrespectful. You do not get to say something racist while you have a style in your head that came from black women. 
And the fact that her inspo was Kim Kardashian is wild. Because that woman has been mimicking black culture for years. But like I said in the beginning, if it was just hair, we would need a law passed to wear our hair like that. Because when we wear our hair like that, it's a problem.